object of their passion you are the object of their attraction not what you have not where you are going not even your destiny you as a person their commitment is unto you please listen their commitment is not unto you as a pastor their commitment is not up to you as a millionaire their commitment is not up to you as a man or a woman your person you are the object of attraction this represent the truest and surest form of people and relationships on earth today where you find someone who is committed to you as a person not your skill not your gift so you are the object of attraction look at me and let me tell you a sincere truth if you find 10 of these people in your lifetime 10 in your lifetime you are the luckiest man that has lived in our generation i know you won't believe what i'm telling you now keep rising and you will find out when you are 50 years you will come back and say apostle you remember something you said i say i remember it clearly because i said it out of conviction and experience it is difficult to find a man a woman who will commit their lives to you not your vision you are the object of attraction not your accomplishments and my prayer for you is may that person be your husband or wife because if it's not if your husband or wife does not fall into that category honestly you have made it is you have entered into a realm of pain that only the spirit of god will comfort you job was the wealthiest man in the east listen and for that no wealthy man grows wealthy alone he must have business associates and allies political figures and all of that and the bible says when certain things happen to job the only person that stood with him was his wife even her she communicated her frustrations you see cause god and die but at least she was a wife that stood by her husband three examples of this in the bible we may not have time to go there just write the scriptures first samuel chapter 18 verse 1 and 3 tells us the story of david Let, let's let's at least let's look at that one first first samuel 18 1 to 3 the story of david and jonathan right david and jonathan gives us a picture of these kinds of people in your life first corinthians okay first samuel listen it says and it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto saul that the soul of jonathan was what knit with the soul of david and jonathan loved him as his soul just stop there do you know what it means for a man to love you as himself he has entered it when you read down what we have to say because of time he entered a covenant it was a covenant of friendship you will hardly find these kinds of people in your life example number two root chapter 1 verse 16 just give it to us media root 1 verse 16 the story of Ruth and Naomi an example of these kinds of people and these kinds of relationship I'll read and Ruth said when Naomi asked her and said please leave I can't give birth to children for you now to wait for them to grow so that you will marry them and here's what Ruth said entreat me not to leave thee or return from following after thee it says for whither thou goest i will go and where thou lodgest i will lodge here's what he says thy people shall be my people and thy god my god may god bring this kind of people to your life another example we may not have the time but i'll just give you is jesus christ and john the beloved jesus and john the beloved the bible says he loved jesus so much when jesus was teaching he would come and lean on his chest 
like a baby would lean or a sister or brother would lean on the chest of an elder one that's it was not eye service it was genuine when all the disciples deserted him john was there right there with the mother of jesus and he said john behold your mother mother behold your son and the bible says from that day john began to take care of her john loved him passionately Brothers and sisters, these are the kinds of people you need in your life if you really want to fulfill destiny. These are the kinds of people who will be with you if they hear today that, ah, God forbid, it will never happen. But nurse got a lady pregnant. They will say, I know. And nurse, is it true? Nurse say, yes. He say, no problem. Nurse, I'm with you. If we are going before the reporters, they will snap me before they snap you. If you ever find those kinds of people in your life praise god for them are we together that you hear ah rain just wash my house and they say where are you rain wash your house what happened they stole my car please come and carry my other car and use he said you just bought the car he said what is the car for i love you more than the car come and take it and use it there is one i would divide my house into two i would plead with my wife for us to move and you will stay with us for three months before you get another place friends please pay attention to what i'm saying it's very important when you find these kinds of people in your life no matter how foolish you will look do all you can to keep that relationship with no matter how foolish preserve that relationship oh benga i know that um, i offended you the other time but you mean more to me than this i appreciate your input in my life i know you will be with me and i appreciate you not me oh i'm not a desperate person anybody that does anything i can throw the person you, you better stop all those childish talk there are people in my life today if it means me crawling and rolling on the ground to maintain my relationship with them i will do it it's not too much of an ego because of what they represent in my life are we together i know husbands who are in such a state of passion with their wives if it takes if they offend that woman if it means them starving themselves of food to show how sorry they are because they know they know how rubbish their lives were when that woman came you are listening to me right now god is giving you wisdom that there are people like this who will say your god will be my god man of god a great man of god in this nation years ago had a very serious scandal i won't mention names for the sake of honor it's something that was everywhere but had a great scandal and one other man of god who had been his friend they had grown together that man you know sometimes when you really love god and you find yourself in something that is very embarrassing it can break you it will take the grace of god for you to be restored they had to come together as friends to just tell him look go down to a particular country and just go and rest and have some time with god did you know that that man of god was ministering both in his church because that man of god's church was at the verge of scattering people you know what happens when there are things like this and this man of god came and put his reputation on the line to tell all of people look i know that your pastor did this but i know him he's a man of great integrity forget what happened I stake my reputation to endorse him. That's a friend. That's a true friend. Are we together now? These are friends that you don't have to act otherwise because being with them is like being alone. You don't have to change. These are the kinds of friends that if you are caught up watching pornography, they can enter the room and you can put it and say, this is what I am doing. And they look and say, look, God will help you. I love you. I love you more than this. I know that it's the devil who is trying to destroy you. And together you will cry before God. And they will pray for you. My neighbor has one woman. I'm sure she's here listening to me and laughing. There is a woman that I spoke to her about 
that woman is about the most faithful friend I've seen in recent time among ladies. I told my neighbor again and again, and I'm still telling her she's here somewhere listening. I said, keep this friend because this is a true friend. There was a day that the woman came to her house, came to her place, and my neighbor was not around. I'm not sure the woman knew I was around. When she, I don't know if the room was open, I can't remember the story. When she entered it, my neighbor was not around, but I was hearing her. She knelt down and began to weep. She prayed there for more than 20 minutes. Oh God, bless my friend. She was crying. She never knew that I was hearing. I started crying too for my brother. I said, what is this? This woman can be so true. The friend was not there, but she was praying genuinely. Do you have somebody in your life who can take a day's fast, not for relationship, but to pray and say, Lord, bless Sam. I love him so much. She would never come and see my neighbor washing and just get a chair. Immediately she comes. She would, she, I, I believe she may be older than my neighbor, but she will come and push it aside and insist. What a friend. Is God challenging us? My prayer is not that you only wait for friends like that, that you make yourself such a friend. Are we together now? Because some of us are far from this. Our idea about friendship is so bad. You are far from this.